Hey, stupid. Congrats on landing on the right side of YouTube once again today. Uh, today's video is simple. We're going to go over how to land your first 5K AI agency deal. And I actually have a picture of you right now. And this is you. Weak, cuck, not selling anything, not closing anything, because I mean, you don't even have sales calls. But after this video, this is how you're going to look. Ferrari F12, Victoria's Secret model, girlfriend, action movie like Jason Statham. Well, I can't actually guarantee those results, so don't hold me to it. Now you're probably thinking, who is this handsome devil and why should I listen to him? Well, I'm glad you asked. My name is Sam Ramy. I was a former investment banker. I left everything one day to make videos on ChatGPT. Thankfully, it ended up working out really well. I've now been able to be a guest coach for Ty Lopez's community. I've been invited to speak at one of the largest AI conferences in the world. I've met individuals like Dan Martell. And I was able to build a custom AI automation studio. I scaled it to 50K a month and I exited in December. I did the same with an AI voice platform in June with a Rami AI. And now I've been able to travel the world as well. I went to El Salvador, Las Vegas, Dubai. And now I run nextcallagent.io. It's a custom AI studio. We do a lot of voice solutions. We do a lot of custom CRMs. And I advise some of the best agency owners in the world on how to run their operation. But let's get straight into it. Stage zero is probably where you're at, and that's acceptance. And it's why you're not closing deals, because you've accepted certain methods. And I'm here to rewire that completely for you. So number one, what we want to actually look at is targeting local businesses is the absolute wrong thing to do. Why? They're unsophisticated. They don't even understand your solution. And even if they did, the small chance they do, they're cheap and poor. And usually they can't afford your situation because otherwise they wouldn't be such a local business. They'd probably have a couple locations. They'd be really rich, right? And there's a clear outbound weakness. You go to them, you're pitching them. The leverage is completely gone. They don't even know you and they don't care. They've been scammed a lot. Number two, and this is a problem with a lot of you, you have no story, no sales, and you're boring. Like you're over-focused on selling the product itself when in reality, successful people buy from other successful people. They don't buy from people that are begging them to, oh, you need, you need this AI chop on you. That doesn't work and it shouldn't work. You need to be exciting. You need to have a story and you need to have social authority, which I go over here. Um, and number three, I think a lot of you guys, no momentum at all. You haven't had any sales, so your confidence all time low. You've been offering discounts. You've been sending proposals. It's just, it's not working out. And your consistency in your operations or flow is suffering because of that. If you got a bunch of sales calls every week, I guarantee you wouldn't be having these problems. And here's what actually works. And I've been in the game for over three years. I've collected 2.1 million in cash. It's social authority, which is what I'd say I'd attribute as the most important. Either that's LinkedIn, IG, YouTube. As you can see, I'm even building my YouTube now because I understand how important it is. Um, it's ICP targeting, not niche targeting, and framing the solution. And I'll go over that shortly. Perfect. Now here's the now here's the perfect authority setup you need to do. Here's what I did. I optimized my LinkedIn and my Instagram. And it happened pretty easily, I won't lie to you, but I mean, I've been doing LinkedIn for three months. I have 8,000 followers. I was able to write clear things of what I want and what I want people to think I am. Because you need to shout your name to the rooftops until they hear it and remember it. Clearly, I branded everything here. Anyone that goes on my profile knows right away. Same thing with Instagram. I got about 57,000 followers, but I'd set it up the same way if I had five. Same way on TikTok. Thought leader in the AI space, work with me. That's how it works. People see that and they go, okay, cool. Hey, Dan Martell follows this guy. Interesting. I'll go after him as well. You guys need to start thinking of that right away. And I regularly partner with other larger creators, other larger influencers. I'm always hopping on calls. Because I know that's how you actually do well in business is with relationships, not just promoting yourself. Eventually, their network's going to get an opportunity. And who are they going to give to? The guy that reached out and was proper with them and built a relationship with them. What you can do right now, you need to build authority fast. You need to have one solid project idea and convert that into a million things. Whether that's a LinkedIn post, a YouTube video, an Instagram post. And you need to redefine it with hooks and stuff to get more attention to it. But let's say you had a great idea for like a law office. You need to brand that as the best thing since sliced bread. You need to have a case study. You need to have a demo. You need to have LinkedIn posts. You need to build contacts in that niche or the sub niches, people that are either lawyers or service lawyers. Like I literally did it here and I'll show you kind of next what I did in ICP targeting, which I think is the most important thing. And that's letting them find you. You create magnets and content that is literally made for the end user. So similar to here, I created an AI system for a med spa. And I used Kim Kardashian as a highlight. They loved it. Med spa owners were like, cool, I love Kim. 
I love NADN. I want to learn more. I made a fully automated voice agent. This is more general, but everyone knows Jarvis, so it's really easy. I made 10 levels of AI voice agents for people that either want to put it in their business or people that are selling them. But I optimize these things for the end user, and you guys need to as well. I'd also wouldn't pitch before diagnosing. Ask them what's good about their business. Ask them what's not going so well, and I ask them what needs to be replaced. If they tell you, hey, I really like my HubSpot CRM, I don't want to replace it, why would you pitch a CRM? If they say, hey, I'm really happy with my cold callers and I don't pay them that much, why would you replace them? You need to identify places where things aren't being used, where things aren't at their full capacity, and where things clearly aren't, aren't supposed to be there. Then you can pitch anything on top of that. And I also say, stop targeting everyone. Like, for example, I pre-filter for p companies with 10 plus staff. Obviously, they're going to be making more money and they're larger size and there's more opportunities for systems to be put in place to automate. I look for manual systems. Not always. Sometimes there's companies with AI and I like it, but manual systems usually shows me there's an opportunity. And then I look at previous tech spend. I ask them, I'm like, hey, have you ever put money into ads? Have you ever worked with an agency before? These simple things will shock you, but a lot of people are like, no, yeah, we have. We're, we know how the process goes. Easy ICP. Next, I go to offer framing, and that's framing the infrastructure, not the tools. So instead of saying, hey, we're going to put some make automations in your CRM, I say, we're going to fully automate your CRM. It's going to be custom. There's going to be dashboards. All the funnels and, and automations are going to be built within it. And I'm going to show you in the test project. Um, I'd also, if you're on the fence with a client and you really want to work with them, they want to work with you, but there's, there's a bit of tension, I do a mini project to build trust. Say, hey, we're just going to help your lead qualification with a type form that goes directly to a Slack notification you'll get when someone is qualified, and then we'll just show all the results on an air table. How does that sound? That's a quick $2,000 to $3,000 project, which isn't a lot of work for you, and it's a really good way to show the client the power and for them, it's low risk because they only lose 2000 bucks if all goes to shit. But it likely will be successful because it's such an easy job. Win-win. Next, I would use a consistent stack. Obviously, it's custom AI. You're never going to have a productized thing. And if you do, good, good on you. But most people will be doing custom. You want to choose certain things. I choose Make, Airtable, Retail, and Lovable. So Make is my automation. Airtable is my CRM. Retail is my voice agent. And Lovable is my front end and app development. This is predictable and easy to duplicate. So if I made a CRM for a med spa, let's say someone responded to this lead magnet and now I can actually just make it, I can repeat that for all types of med spas all across the world. It's easy. And last, I'd say charge like a real business. Charge minimum three to 5K. I, I charge 10K, but that's because of my social authority. But that at least lets people know you're serious, that your service is going to bring in a lot of money. And you're not just some Indian with chickens and sleeping in the, in the basement of their house, charging 500 bucks a month. Cause they're not gonna take you seriously. Why would they think they're gonna make a ton of money if it only costs 500 bucks a month? I'd also add in like a thousand to 2000 per month for ongoing support and then usage fee. I don't charge my clients anything for a lot of stuff, but you could, you could add a margin to your voice agent. Instead of 12 cents a minute, you could do 15, 16. I don't approve of that, but teach their own. I'm just giving you the advice. Awesome. Now let's go over an example build of something you could do and sell for 10,000. Look, the video is about 5k and I'm giving you a 10k deal. I would start off as like kind of a voice agent funnel. You'd have a lead opt in, you have an instant AI call, they qualify, they book, they send an SMS and email after. This could easily win and we've seen it win in, in realtors, law, med spas, coaches. And here, I'll walk you through what it looks like graphically and then I'll break the stack. So landing page, you're going to create that on tally. You're then, when the tally is filled out, you're gonna have a retail bot call that person. Then there's gonna be an end of call report from retail that gets transported onto the Airtable and shows the stats. Summary, client name, client email, number called, everything. Once you have that there in like a base CRM, you throw that onto a dashboard after a bunch of calls. This is the $10,000 solution. For certain companies, this is a $100,000 solution. It just depends on what company you're working with. It's not the solution itself. And the stack breakdown is very simple. There's a voice agent, there's CRM integration, ar arguably a custom CRM. There's follow-up flows, there's a dashboard. And I always include training and ownership to the company. So whoever's gonna be operating the system is gonna be trained on how to do it so they don't have to call me a bunch in case something minor goes off or they wanna change the script. And with this, you're easily selling for 10K. And if you watched all the way to the end of the video, I wanted to personally thank you. And I like to finish off every video with my favorite quote, may you never let success get to your head and failure to your heart. Have a wonderful day.